uh, how how are the guys? How, what's the locker room like? Um, you know, with the 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 uh, issue of Julio Jones being traded circulating, uh, you know, pretty pretty intensely around the football communities. Well, yeah. I mean, first I would just say um, Julio's been nothing but a great teammate, uh, tremendous leader, and obviously, you know, an outstanding player. And um, you know, I'd love to continue playing with him, but you know, I feel. You know, this is something kind of for him to answer, Arthur. I mean, I can't really speak on his behalf, but I know that, you know, we had a great day today. We worked really hard and, um, you know, we're working on building a winning program. And football-wise, um, you know, he said y'all getting back to the outside zone. It looks like y'all moving a lot. Uh, how much did you like that that system and, the, the you know, moving and the athletic ability that, it requires and that fits you a little bit better do you believe yeah I, I love the you know the wide zone scheme um we've had a lot of success with it in the past and i'm excited to be going you know back to more stuff like that and uh excited to run the ball more and that that's our goal as an offensive line to you know take over games you know like we used to and um that's the standard we have and uh like i said i you know the, at least the way it felt on the field very happy with the first day of putting everything in. Tori? Hi, Jake. Uh, you know, this is now a couple of years running where that left guard spot has kind of been up for grabs. And, and I know for you that that doesn't really, you know, change things for you. But for a certain extent, what's your role in that? Do you, do you kind of take ownership more of that left side because you know that there's going to be guys rotating in and out for at least for the foreseeable future? Um, I mean, yeah, absolutely. I think um, when you have a guy that you play next to a lot and you build that, you know, companionship and understanding for each other, it, you know, it allows you to be better players. And and especially if we get all five guys up front doing that, that's when we're going to be really successful. And yeah, you know, being my eighth year now, um, I, I take a lot of pride in, you know, whoever they put in there, um, doing whatever I can for myself to do well and obviously to improve them and, you know, make it easier on them as well. So, yeah, I take that uh, upon myself without question. And you talk about it being your eighth year and, you know, Alex Mack has gone in free agency. You're kind of the, the old, older guy now, you know, compared to everybody else across the line. Um, how much do you kind of take on that mantle this off season for these guys? Yeah, it's, it's sometimes surreal because, you know, sometimes I feel like I just started. It goes pretty quick, but um, I, I'm enjoying it. I, you know, I feel like I have a lot, you know, to help, especially with the younger guys and, um, you know, have a decent amount of experience. And, um, man, I just can't say enough. I, I want to make sure I play well and I improve the people around me. And that's kind of been my goal from the beginning. And uh, I want to continue building towards that. Michael Rossi. Hey Jake, sorry, just jumped in a little bit late. Uh, have you, if you haven't, been, if you've been asked about this, I apologize. As far as Julio Jones goes, what do you remember most about Julio? Like, what's been your favorite memory about playing with Julio? Uh, well, his nickname was we we call him Cheat Code, kind of, because just having him on your team allows you to do so many, you know, crazy good things. He's just that caliber of a player, and. I, I have nothing but respect for him, and he's been nothing but a great teammate to me. I've enjoyed um, my entire career here has been, you know, having him here as well. And um, whatever happens, I, I, I got nothing but respect. And I know you said cheat code. Is there a specific cheat code that's always been in mind for you with him? I mean, I, this is going to date myself, but you had the the long Contra cheat code back on the original Nintendo or was there anything like that? Like, is there one that really stuck out to you that you would compare him to? I, I think it was just the fact that if the ball was anywhere in his vicinity, he was going to make a play. So uh, it was almost automatic and um, uh, he's, he's a special player. So it, it's been, you know, anytime seeing him make a play, I, I've enjoyed, I've enjoyed it a lot. Paul Newberry. Hey, just hey, Jake, how you doing? Uh, just one for me, and and I, I apologize for again uh, on the the Julio situation. Uh, you said it was a great day today, and you're y'all are trying to sort of 
not let that affect the preparations. But how how do you do that? I mean, I would. It just seems like obviously he's been such a big part of this franchise to kind of start up OTAs with all this hanging over you. How how do you not let it be a pall over the team and prevent it from kind of affecting what y'all are trying to do? Um, well, I mean, first I, I would agree with you. He's been such a huge piece of this franchise and he's done so many great things here, but, um, you know, just speaking for myself personally, I, you know, I got to make sure I'm ready to play and, and that's, you know, my role first and foremost. And I know everyone thinks that as well. And, um, you know, we fit that all together. We're, we're going to be successful. So we've got to keep that mindset. I'm sorry to, uh, just to follow up a little bit on that. Does it, um, you know, does this also sort of bring home the point, you know, you, you want to win right away. And these, the new leadership guys have said, you know, they're not looking to rebuild necessarily, but when you see something like this going on, how do you sort of not let that give you this sort of mindset that, uh Oh, we're, this is going to take a few years to build this back up here. Um, well, I mean, I don't want to sound redundant, but yeah, he's, he's a very good player. I have to acknowledge that, but you know, we, we also have a lot of other really good players on this team. And, um, man, we, we got to just get back to basics and get back to winning football. And that and that's the plan. It sounds very simple, but that's all we can do at this point. Kelsey Conway? Hey, Jake, you said that you're excited to run the ball more. Obviously, everybody saw what Arthur Smith did with Derrick Henry and the Titans offense the last two years. From the brief meetings and um, being on the field today, I guess, like, what's behind being able to run the ball more with an Arthur Smith offense? Um, I, I think one of the biggest things is, is tying everything together. The way the keepers, the play pass, the running the ball, the the protections, everything's, it's, there's a purpose behind it. And you throw it all together and, it, you know, it keeps the defense, you know, on their heels. They're not exactly sure what's coming. You can you know, run the same play out of a ton of different looks or multiple plays out of one look. And um, when you do that, when you're consistent and you, you know, mix it up a lot, you, you, you know, you have a lot of success. And he's, you know, very adamant about, um, you know, sticking to what works and, you know, just being good at the little things. And when we keep doing those little things and we stick to them, they add up. And that, that's a big part of the run of the ball. You got to, you got to stick to it. And those little things are going to continue to add up and, you know, two yard, four yard games are going to start turning into, you know, eight yard, 15 yard games. And then Matt Hennessy, obviously got to spend a lot of time with him last year. Um, how did you see him develop throughout the year and um, how confident are you in him as you guys head into your second off season with him kind of um, calling the shots right now? Yeah, it's been funny. I actually mentioned this to him earlier that it, it's actually really cool to see how much he's grown. He's so much more vocal and confident and he's come so far. So I'm, I'm really excited to see what he has to do the, you know, last year you got him on the field and sometimes it's hard to get him to talk and now he's almost talking too much. So it's been a good, good change up. And, you know, he, it's been cool to see him get better. Justin Felder. Uh, we're obviously pretty far from you guys while you're practicing, but we could hear uh, Arthur Smith a couple of times with some words of encouragement. Uh, what, how would you describe his his intensity of practice? It's good. It's it's no nonsense. It's, hey, you're a professional. This is what we need to do. This is what we expect from you and get it done. And, um, you know, I appreciate that a lot. And he, he made it very clear today what he wanted to look like and, you um, what it takes to be success successful and, you know, the offense he's bringing in here. And um, like I said before, I, I really feel like we took a good first step in that direction and we just got to keep building off of it. Thank you. Okay. Is that your line? Yeah, to follow up with what Justin was asking, uh, Jake, um, everybody wants to in, in put their new culture, their new stamp on, on, on a culture. It, it, what's the biggest difference? Um, between current staff and what you experienced in your first seven years in the league? Um, it, you know, it, we've only been, you know, a little bit over a week in person, but um, man, you know, the biggest thing I've noticed is just the the professionalism of it and um, what they expect from guys, the, the leadership roles, especially just speaking personally, um, you know, they expect a lot out of me and Matt and the, you know, the leaders on this team. And um I, I just appreciate the, you know, the 
the strictness of this is what we want this is the way we want it to look like this is you know here are examples and let's get to it and it's been very um professional so i and i i appreciate that a lot so it's been good and finally uh, alex mack obviously had the resume and the position to be the vocal leader on, a, on an offensive line for you, is that a natural fit for you, being a vocal uh, you know, veteran of this team? Is that something you'll embrace now moving forward, knowing that you have a tenured position on this group? Yeah, you know, I know. I feel like at a younger age, it was more, hey, it was more vocal with just the tackles. And as I got older, it was talking to all the guys on the left side. And, you know, now I feel like I'm past the point where, you know, I can, um, you know, move past just leading the offensive line and, you know, speak up to other guys as well. And um, I've always been a guy that leads by example. Uh, I figured doing it the right way first is what's most important versus saying you're going to do something. And um, yeah, I, you know, expect a lot out of myself and, you know, intend to push everyone. Like I said in the beginning, I first want to make sure I do well. And second, uh, make sure I make everyone better around me.